Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Take a look around you. You can probably see someone or something moving or in motion. Your mom might be cooking dinner, your brother might be writing his homework, your dog might be wagging its tail. Even if you don't see anything moving, motion is still happening all around you. If you were to zoom in with a microscope, you'd see dust mites moving around, bacteria wiggling, and cells transporting nutrients to the rest of the body. If you could zoom in even further, you'd see the molecules and atoms that make up everything vibrating and bouncing off each other. It might only be a small amount of movement and very, very slow, but movement does happen. Don't forget that even if you seem to be standing still, the Earth is moving around the Sun, and the Sun is moving around our galaxy. The movement never stops. Motion is the process in which an object is moving or changing its position. Motion can be straight. Think of an arrow being shot at a target. It can be circular, like when you ride on a merry-go-round. Motion can be up and down, like when you jump on a pogo stick. Or it can be zigzag, like when you're skiing. Motion can also be side to side, like when you dance. Some motion is even a combination, like a swing. Imagine a child at a playground, swinging on the swings. She moves forward and back, of course, but she also moves up and down as she swings higher and higher. When the same motion repeats over and over, it creates a pattern. If you know the pattern that a moving object is following, then you can make predictions about where it'll be in the future. For example, when you jump rope, you're using the pattern of the rope swinging around you. And you know that the rope is going to swing down towards your feet, and you predict the timing of when to jump. I bet you didn't even realize you were doing that. Another example. Throwing a ball straight up in the air. Well, you've done that often enough, haven't you? Now try to predict what the pattern of motion might be. No need to think it over, actually. You've already seen it. When you throw a ball straight up into the air, it falls straight back down every time. Now, think about juggling three balls. As you toss a ball up in the air, you're also considering the other balls falling down. In order to catch the balls, you end up predicting where all the balls are going to be and when they're going to fall down. And which one you'll have to catch in order to keep juggling. Juggling isn't easy, but it's a great example of your brain quickly predicting the pattern of motion. The way we know an object is in motion is by seeing if the position changes compared to another object. Imagine you're in a room with a desk. To figure out if you're moving, you can use the desk next to you as a reference point. A reference point is a place or object used to compare and determine if something's in motion. If you no longer see the desk next to you, well, that means you're moving away from it. But if you look and the desk hasn't moved, that means you're standing still and not moving. Here's another example that you might have experienced. Imagine you're in a car, stopped next to another car at a red light. Suddenly, you think your car starts moving backward. But in fact, it was the other car moving forward when the light changed to green. It felt like you were moving backwards because your brain had used the other car as a reference point. In reality, you didn't move at all. Your car did change its position compared to the other car, though, which means there is motion happening. But it wasn't you, it was the other car that was in motion. This leads to our next point. Objects that are not moving relative to Earth, uh, such as a building, a tree, or a sign, make good reference points. Technically, all of these objects are moving, because the Earth is always moving, rotating on its axis and revolving around the Sun. But compared to the ground, the building, tree, or sign isn't moving at all. It's helpful if our reference points are standing still so that we can compare ourselves to them. But not all reference points have to be still. Look out the window when you're riding in a car, and you can see cars next to you moving faster than your car, and others that are moving slower. Moving faster or slower is another way to describe motion. But let's learn about that in another video. So far, you know what motion is. 
this is when an object is moving or changing its position. Reference points are helpful to determine if something is in motion or not. When the same motion repeats over and over, it creates a pattern. And we can then use those patterns to make predictions. Well, that's all for now. See you in the next video.